for the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, the FYI radio show with your host, Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. The music that you hear in the background is none other than Miss Yolanda, the Lady Hinton, where I am now. And if you'd like to see us live in WGPL 1350 Studio, all you have to do is go to Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Henson's Facebook page, and guess what? You can hear us all over the world. <laughs> and if you'd like to see us in the WGPL 1350 Studio, all you have to do is go to Edward Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Henson's Facebook page, and guess what? You can see us right Right here in WGPL 1350 Studio. And if you want to hear us all over the world, just go to 1400 AM, 1350 AM, Company.com. Click and listen live. And now I want to introduce to some and present to others the host of the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hinton, and a pleasant good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. E is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you, could you, will you be my neighbor? Let's welcome our neighbors, our WGPL 1350 AM listeners. Peace, 95.3 FM and WPCE 1400 AM. Facebook Live is on and popping. Look who's up here. Diane Carter, how are you? Where you been? Happy Mother's Day and love to the family. That's right. Let's you. also welcome LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll shout you out later on in the show. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And you shout them out. Shout out. Wow. Later on. You know, in the show. In the show. What's that thing that we want everybody to do for us, Miss Hinton? Go to Crystal Records 1. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. to Crystal Records 1 and subscribe to the channel. You'll see all of FYI radio show shows. Uh, it's C-R-I-S-T-O records with an S 1. Yeah. And please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. E, how was your weekend? Oh, I had a wonderful weekend. I don't want to say happy Mother's Day to you oh, and a happy goodness. Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And I hope that they had a B-A-double-L. It was absolutely fabulous. You know, when your children love, bless you, and tell you sweet, beautiful things, it means everything. And uh, I had a wonderful Mother's Day, and uh, I saw on social media so many people celebrating their moms on TV, celebrating mom. It's just, it's just a wonderful feeling, Mr. E. I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives you great joy to know that God has given you that gift to birth a beautiful children. I was in my service on yesterday, giving all the mothers the accolades and passing out them all a rose for yes. you know, and telling them Happy Mother's Day. And then I had one of the gentlemen say, Pastor, can I say? A few words. I, I, he said, "I did not know that my daughter." I said, "I said, bro." He bruh. didn't know that his daughter. He, he, know, he said, "I did not know that my daughter that she has grown up to be the kind of girl that she are because I thought she's going to be this, this, and this, and oh, this." No. So I want to pat you know say happy to you know that I was glad to be. I said, "Bro, bro, listen." It's Mother's Day. Wait till next month. Oh, you can say happy Father's Day. I'm surprised you gave him the floor, Mr. E. <laughs> but well, I thought he was going to give his, his, uh, ball, his mama accolades. some accolades, you yeah. know, but he went another direction. Well, I tell you what, we appreciate our mothers. Some of them have gone. Uh, uh, 
you know, passed away, and but we still remember them. We love them. And uh, those that have their moms showered them with so much love and grace and beautiful words. And so we were really happy. It turned out to be absolutely beautiful. That's what it's all about. Mr. E, this is FY Monday Sports Talk. I can hardly get it out. I'm cheesing so much. Because we are getting down to the wire, down to the final. I mean, Mr. E, we're almost there. Miss Hinton, we are down there to the overrated teams. Uh oh. No, you didn't say overrated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, you know, I know where I want to start because I, I got ready to say uh, I didn't know where to start. But we've got to start with a few winners, a few losers. But one that we followed, one that I followed, one that you were uh, rah rah and who ran for, and that was Golden State. That's oh right. my goodness, That's have right. gone home. They're gone by the way of Sandusky. They lost the other day, oh, one twenty-two to one hundred and one. Uh, you know, so they gone by the way. That you know. What uh, did you think about that game? I, I thought, I thought, it, you know, it was a good game. It was a great game. They played great basketball. But I believe that Golden State need to revamp. It need to go back into his camp and take get some, um, re get some more energy going on. Because one of the fellas that was playing with them, a fella by the name of Poo, you know, Poo. Uh, he came out last yes. year. He was shooting like crazy. But this year, he hasn't done anything since him and Davon Green got into that scuffle. Ooh, Davon Green, his name was out there. He was cutting up a little bit. I yeah. saw him. He, you know, he's going to cut up. He's yeah, he, going to do his thing. That's a Dennis Rodman the second. Yes. He, that, that's right. Got that same energy, yeah, actions, that's, that's and whatnot. Right. He just don't have a dress on. That's right. He got the, I don't know. He might put one on. <laughs> we are looking he don't have a wedding gown on. We're looking at a different day and time now so anything will like happen in this season yes but i tell you what it was bittersweet you know i felt mr e that the lakers had a good season i know you say they're overrated but they came through well they came through and i want to give my hat take my hats off to all the la fans and all the laker players y'all did wonderful uh, because they had a great matchup with the last year champs, which was the Golden State That's Warriors it. against LA, against the Lakers, you know, but at that 122 or two, 101 was a great game. But you know, a lot of people, as I talk to folk, uh, talk about the energy of some of the players and they did mention Stephen Curry and that he was, he was used to play just a little bit harder of, uh, they felt and so they thought maybe he kind of like paced through uh this season he did well now that's right he did, got his points but he kind of like you know hey you saw him going in and out of games and uh you know but i feel as though mr e with so many games they definitely have to pace it you know it takes energy that's to right. do that's anything right. you know especially uh playing sports so you know, maybe it's an energy thing. Some people say it's an ego thing. Some people say it's a, a injury thing. They've been injured once. They don't want to be injured again. And they were talking about LeBron James, as a matter of fact, when they talked about that injury, saying LeBron's is still recovering, but he's not going to play as hard because of that. That's right. And nevertheless, Lakers came through. That's right. I was I was really elated because I saw the Lakers pull it off. But here's the thing about the Golden State Warriors. The Lakers did a wonderful job because they shut they shut down Steph uh not Steph Carey, but they uh Kyle uh Carl Thompson. They yes. shut him down. And normally he would be the switchover man that would help uh, uh carry in the wing they Ooh, shut him yes. down and then pool they shut him down and then davon green had to play him and wiggins and loon had to play all positions but when they shut down the three the, those two out there in front those three that was the ball game it was absolutely and then, fabulous and then when i looked around and i saw that the that the uh warrior was having some in-house issues yes tell us um, tell us the team when i looked at uh, at the warriors they would have some in-house issues between davon green uh and steph uh steph curry and Poole. 
when that when I looked at Poole and Poole was not really trying to play no basketball. Mm-hmm. He he really but he does have the speed. He does has the capability. He does know how to play that ball, but he just didn't perform up to the expectation that will cause that causes the yes. Lakers to win. You know, somebody mentioned also that uh, you know, these guys are playing games, but they also have a, they have a life, you know, and maybe there are some things that can affect, uh, like we were talking about the energy it takes to play ball and consistently play, uh, you know, they've gone to the end basically. And, uh, it takes a lot of energy to keep doing the same thing and, and, and challenging and, uh, just making sure that they are at their 100. Sometimes you can't be at your 100, even if you want to. And so it could be that, it could be life, it could be what people eat, how they, you know, if they're resting well, or if the other team has, you know, prepared themselves so well that you just can't win against them, you know. But, you know, when I look at them, the Lakers and uh, Golden State, it was like, I thought it was going to be like a, a volleyball, like you win one, <laughs> I win one, you win one, I win one. Because, Mr. E, you felt like they were going to go to uh, – what it was going to be like uh, seven games. Seven games. I, it was going to go down to the Y, which it did went down to the, you know. Yeah, but almost to the Y. I thought it was going to be a 3 3. Yes. Warriors 1 3. Yes, that's what I uh uh-huh. And so the last game would be a blowout, you know. So when I looked around and I saw saw uh, that Warriors and that the uh, Lakers and dogged them boys, I said to myself, it's over. It's but, over. Yeah, but Mr. E, I felt as though the Lakers really start bringing it. Uh, the last three of, of their game, I felt like they was real. They really were in it to win it. It was kind of like to me, uh, in the cards for them uh, to to get where they were going and and uh, winning against Golden State. It just felt like it. Uh, Golden State had a certain pace, and it, it felt as though they uh, could take it or leave it. In a sense, they won't play a real hard, hard, hard at time. You know, they made a, they might have won a game where they played very good. But I think the Lakers, to me, stepped up their game and began to play a little harder than Golden State. Well, they did a wonderful job because yes. A.D. won. See, A.D. don't have a ring. Ah. So Anthony Daniels, Anthony Davis wanted him a ring so bad. So that means that he did all the work in the backcourt. That's why they gave LeBron a little time to get off. He didn't have to play as hard as he would have played. Ah. But if 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 Poole, if Jordan Poole, who was a key player, um, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, out of Michigan State for three years, experienced it, played in, in the pro, came in on round, came in on uh, on round one in 2019, 20 point, points per game. Yes. Uh, he, they and if he had a got off, and didn't have them issues, you know, because he's looking to be traded. Wow, you know then that they probably would have. They probably would have. Uh, played a better game. Oh my goodness. So Golden State had gone by the way of Sand Dusty. Did they look hurt? They looked like they were kind of like, wow. Well, you know, Golden State looked like they was hurt. Um, uh, I saw uh, 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 Corey sit down on the bench That's and say, right. did this happen to us? <laughs> He did. Now, he, you know, he is one that really looked like, I can't believe, it was two of them. It was one sitting next to him, and they Thompson, were both had their, their uh, things he, over their head. It's like, oh. Did this oh, happen to us? Did we, yes, the did, champions. Like that commercial come on TV. Did they do this to us? Did, they did do, we do this? <laughs> did I do that? Did, I did do y'all that? just lose? The yes, champions just lost? You know, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You lost. So, you know, I was looking for the Warriors to come out on top. But I did. They didn't happen. But let's see. Let's go back to your words talking about overrated. Now you can't say they overrated now because of where they are. You know I can't say they overrated now. But here's my prediction. And Uh-oh. I know the Lakers are playing against the Denver Nuggets. That's right. Now when they play against the Denver Nuggets, I believe, I believe, I'm going with the underdog that the Denver Nuggets is going to walk all over them. Oh. Let's talk about uh, Miami Heat still in it to win it now. That's right. What do you feel right. about Miami? Do you think they just, you know, they just ease it right through there, just <laughs> as sweet as they can be, nice? And what do you think? Miami well, Heat is doing their thing. I believe Miami Heat, the Butler, Jerry, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, uh, what's his name? Jerry Butler. 
uh, is doing a wonderful job. My nephew called him Bucket. Bucket, yeah, Jerry Bucket. I mean, you know his name was talked about a lot uh, during this uh, these last few games. I think he pulled a rabbit out of his hat, and and guess what? They going the last time Miami had went there is when I think was when LeBron was a part of it. Ooh. And so now they're going to the play. They're in the playoff, going to the you know to the next game. Absolutely. They will be playing against the Boston Celtics. Oh, damn! Well, let's talk about the Boston Celtics. I cannot help but grin. That game was a slaughter. That was a. Oh real- my goodness, poor Philadelphia! What happened, Mister E? That I, I'm 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 very surprised that they uh, could not come up above the 88. Yeah. What was the score? Please tell the, us. The final score was 112 to uh, Boston had 112 and uh-huh. the 76ers had 88. 88? 88. What were they doing? 88. Sleepwalking. I, I believe that it was around there twiddling their thumbs, you know, because they found out they hit it up. Sometimes you can see while you're playing the game that it's over because you can't get the big guy off no more. They shut him down and you can't get nobody else. And, 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 and my boy, bearded man, um, you know, he needed some beard gone. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, all that green. It was so much green in that. In that oh, I said, oh, Lord, that stadium. Whoo. And then Larry Bird had the audacity to show up there. Oh, Larry Bird, I didn't yeah, see Larry it. Larry Bird had the audacity to show up there. But Larry Bird made his, uh, Larry, Larry Bird, Kevin Mahale showed that Dennis, Dennis, uh, Dennis Johnson, Dennis, that, that used to play the Boston. Yeah. The only person that was missing out of there was Parrish. Wow. But them old heads showed up there and gave them boys more support. But here's what happened to Miami that made Miami win the game. Mm-hmm. That Alonzo Mourning, who is from Virginia, yeah. and he was sitting there with, with Coach Rowley uh, some, uh, at the Miami game. Okay. Wow. I tell you what, getting back to the uh, Celtics, you know, Boston Celtics, Miss E, now you know they're a legendary team. Yeah. Those yeah. Are, that's one that's of the that teams is. like uh, uh, Uncle and, and Grandfather and <laughs> brothers and all. All them just favored. Boston Celtics had some great players uh, back in the day. That's these right. are these are le- This is a legendary team. That's right. And so I kind of figured, even though I really didn't follow all their games, I got a chance to look at this one, and uh, I just had a feeling they were going to come through. And did they come through? It was a slaughter. That that boy by the name of Jay Tater. I Ooh. got to give it to him. That boy had fifty-one points. Five assists and thirteen rebounds. Amazing. He wanted it too. Amazing. In other words, I, 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 I'm. If I had to put a color on, I would call him an African American Larry Bird. Oh, so there's look the Philadelphia. 76ers have gone by the way by, of Sandusky. By, and, the, and, the, and and uh, also the Miami Heat put the New York uh, Knicks to sleep. Absolutely. Also. Poor 96. Thing. It was a low scoring game, 96 to 92. Oh, oh my. But they took their sleep. They so took, now, so so, now we get ready to switch over to the almost to the finals. Let's talk about it. It's been a great season, NBA that's season. That's right. That's right. And so, are there any surprises? Mr. E, you said that the Lakers were overrated. Are you uh, surprised that they've gotten this far? Well, Miss Hinton, I'm I'm not surprised that the Lakers got this far. I I knew that they was gonna get where they are today because of uh, the uh, uh, player coach LeBron. He play he's a player Absolutely. coach, and, and he's got all the referees in the palm of his hand, and he had a big old crying tower too. What do What do you mean by that? <laughs> tell me, tell me. What do you mean? He had a big old cry. He cried so much oh, to the referee wow. that it wasn't funny. Oh, he got a crying, a crying <laughs> dance out there that everybody's doing it. Uh, he's got a dance that he cried, cried. Oh, Mr. E, and, what do you think if they go all the way? What are you gonna think about the well, Lakers that, then? That's who's gonna win. The, that's who's gonna win the play the championship this year. L. A. Lakers. Are you sure? We got some other predictions now you know well the only team that's going to be playing would be la lakers and the denver nuggets and then there's going to be miami heat and the boston celtics somebody is predicting that the celtics are going to be the one highly favored to win the championship followed by the nuggets 
Uh, and the Lakers is the last the last choice uh, that's online. I don't believe that. That's what's online. That I know that's what's online. But my prediction, this is an average prediction, that the Lakers gonna win the championship. Ooh. Ad Ad wanted bad. They wanted bad. A, Anthony Davis wanted bad. I don't know. I, I don't know, Mr. E. I, I really believe it's going to come down to uh, Boston Celtics and the Lakers. I I feel those two will go to the Well, if it's come down to the final wire, if it come down to the Lakers and Boston, you, you can imagine Magic Johnson and uh, Larry Bird, Kevin Mahale, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jamal Wilk, James Worthy, Dennis Johnson, and all them Parrish and all those old schoolers, uh, Walt, yes. Walton, all them old schools playing again because it, Lakers and Boston haven't seen each other in quite some time. Oh, that would be a great So game. this is just a reunion, uh, but I believe, I predict, uh -huh. That the Lakers gonna take it. What do you think about Miami Heat? Do you think that they could possibly? No. Oh, tell no. me why. Tell it. They don't uh -huh. have enough fine power. They don't. Butler, a bucket can't take them by itself. You don't think so? You got AD back there, and see, but but bucket got to get got to get over of uh them Boston Celtics. You got Tatum. You got uh Boston Celtics got a squad, and because they got a squad. Uh, Bucket and the gang gonna have to pull up to the bumper. Okay, so tell us who's gonna be playing in the upcoming week. Starting this upcoming week, May the seventeenth on Wednesday, the Miami Heat will be playing against the Boston Celtics, and then on tomorrow, on tomorrow night at eight o'clock, eight thirty, the Lakers will be playing against the Denver Nuggets. Oh my goodness! You know, I'm I'm telling you right now, I feel that feeling of missing uh, Golden State already. You know, when you didn't even mention it, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, Miss Hinton, let's do this right quick. Yeah. Because we got a few minutes. Let's go to, and serve some tea. What was I want, I, I want to Who talk are we going to serve I, tea I want on? to talk about that 24-year-old boy. Oh, my goodness, Mr. E. Okay, so look, you guys, we got a story. And uh, I know you all have heard about it. Mr. E, just go on and, and pick up your teacup and start serving. You know, Miss Engine, I just don't know what to say about that young boy. I just don't know what to say. Mr. Morant. Jay, ja, ja, ja. It, 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 ja Morant, the youngin' has been suspended. Oh my He just goodness. got off suspension. Now he's suspended for all of the Grizzlies game. But this is the thing. Do you, with opportunity like that, and that man is going to make uh, what over two hundred million dollars for five years? Why would you blow it on foolery? And uh, the they have the uh, social media uh, footage where he is what slinging a gun around, yeah. and, you know, yeah. just just a lot of foolery and stuff like that. And uh, being reckless, you know, they put they tried to put it on his friends, but I think that because he's 24 years old and he was born on my birthday, he was born August 10th, 1999. But still, somebody should have kept his dad, should have put him on his wing and said, I cannot allow you to go out there and live a reckless life with all that money you got. Well, let's do this, let's challenge those that are veterans, uh, uh legends. Get around that young man and let him know this is an opportunity that you don't want to blow. Everybody does not get an opportunity to play in the NBA, uh, Mr. E, he's got, or the NFL. I mean, people, that's right. he's, I mean, this is an opportunity he should not want to blow. He should get from around people that are toxic uh, or influencing him because, look, if he loses his opportunity, all they're going to do is sit back and laugh. And they're going to laugh, and guess what? going to happen. He really going to be street, street, street man. And that's it. You're going back to the streets. You're going right back to the streets. And the boy got the qualification, Miss Hinton. He can jump out of a gym. He's got a 38-inch leap. He can Ooh, leap 38 oh inches. I mean, the boy, you know, the boy got it going on. I mean, T. Yes. Morant. T. Morant is, his, you know, is his real, real name. name. Uh -huh. it's, it's T. I, I don't know how to, Tatarish Morant. 
Jamal Morant, and he was born August 10th, American basketball player with the Grizzlies. And what, what made me feel so bad about this young boy, I hate to see him go down by the wayside. I tell you what, we gonna, like I said, we challenge you all out there, those are veterans and those legends, get around that young man, that young black man, and tell him, look, this is a, a chance of a lifetime. You're talking about money, big money, 200 million, over $200 million uh, contract, and you want to blow it over foolery, don't do it. You all get around that young man and tell him to, to make sure he appreciates the opportunity that, that has been given to him. One of the questions that they asked about him, asked, did he grow up around money? Did he grow mm -hmm. up with money? And the answer to that question was, Jay Morant did not grow up up uh, poor. He did not grow up poor. Mm -hmm. He wasn't uh, 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 rich neither. Okay. But he wasn't rich neither. His parents made enough to get by a bit comfortable. And while the family couldn't afford professional trainers for Morant, his father, T. Morant, did all he could to support it. And I tell you what, he, he came out as a, a great player. Uh, but this is the thing. You can be a great player, but not do business right or not take advantage of the opportunity that you've given. For some reason or another, you know, you think you can do things and get away with it. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's just it's just something that uh, somebody needs to get hold of them and say, don't blow it, son. Don't blow it. Tell our listening audience how much money. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Look, I, look, it's so, look, it's so many zeros. My eyes are going across <laughs> everybody. To be 24 years old, look at the dollar bill that that young man, that if he somebody don't get a, get a, get a hold of him, he's going to lose it listen, all. Listen to this. Jay Morant signed a five-year, $194,300,000 contract with the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? For five <laughs> years. Did you hear all For that money? five years. Uh, and it's a, excluding, uh, it's a, a guarantee. Uh, it's an annual average salary of $38,860. I tell you what, in 2023, 24, he's 24 years old. Mar uh, Morant will earn a base salary of $33,600,000 while carrying a cap hit of thirty three. million. Five hundred thousand. Now, Look tell me, money. tell me why why you have time to twirl guns and act uh, like you're acting on uh, social media. Don't do it because social media is it, is uh, it, it's, like, it's like a virus. It will spread so quick. The That's next right. thing you know, you're gonna be like you are. What suspended? It it just suspended. it just it, it just really got on as a young man. You know, as a young man, he could be sitting real oh, good. Goodness, and, yes. you know, he's got a new house. He yes. bought a house. He got several cars, you know. Uh, uh, so, I mean, he, uh, he's, listen, he, you know, he's doing a wonderful Jay, job. Jay, we're going to look. The mothers, it was Mother's Day yesterday. All mothers, need to, every time you see them take them by the ear, just pull them and tell them, <laughs> look, boy, don't you blow it. I mean, we somebody needs to get to them and explain. Uh, why this is not a good idea to get in so much trouble. You know, let's go to the NFL let's flip side. Oh right my goodness, so sentence. look, so the NFL, we got some tea. Uh, actually, the season is getting ready to uh, start That's right. out, and uh, what do you think, Miss D? Well, I'm ready for some football. Are you ready for some football? Are y'all ready? Because I tell you, we're down to the wire with That's the NBA. It's almost over. That's starting September the 7th. And September the seventh, that's when the games first game start. Well, they got pre games, but yes. starting for the regular season, starting September the seventh, the Detroit Lions will play against the Kansas City Chiefs, Ooh. and you know, and the tickets are two hundred and seventy-six oh dollars. And then coming on down to match up the Carolinas to play against on September the 10th, the Carolina Panthers will be playing against ATL. Cincinnati will be playing against Cleveland. Jacksonville will be playing against Indianapolis. Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be playing against Minnesota Vikings. Tennessee will be playing against New Orleans Saints. San Francisco against Pittsburgh. Ooh. Arizona against Washington. Houston is against Baltimore. Green Bay against Chicago. Las Vegas against Denver. Philadelphia against New England. I want to 
stopped at New England. Because uh-huh. guess who came out of retirement? Who? That fella by the name of Tom Brady. I don't believe it. Yes, he done came out of retirement. What is this a game you know? <laughs> Come on now. He, this is what? He retired twice. He and here he is again. That's right. He going he back resist. to New England to uh, uh, play at the New England's uh, play with the New England Patriots, and then Miami gonna be played against Los Angeles Rams, and Los Angeles, uh, 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 Los Angeles will be playing against Seattle, and here's here's a, a, the Dallas Cowboys. Uh oh, will be playing against the New York uh, Giants on Ooh, uh, in September the tenth. You know, at my uh, MetLife Stadium in in New Jersey. Did you mention Philadelphia Eagles? Well, the Philadelphia Eagles going to be playing against the uh, uh, New England Patriots. Yeah, and the Commanders. What's and, going and on with the them? Commanders going to be playing against the Arizona uh, in, at FedEx in Landover Field in September Ooh, the tenth. I tell you what, it's th- it's time. We're ready for some football. I tell you what, we're getting ready to put the NBA to sleep for the season. And uh, you all keep watching that, but we're getting ready. We're fitting to go over there to the uh, NFL and uh, serve up some tea, find out what's happening. And uh, also, we do have the NBA drafts coming up. Uh, so we're, we're going to be reporting on that, too. But anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Come on over here if you can to social media. And don't forget tonight, 6 p.m., we got a, a panel of single men, honey. We're going to be talking to them about life and their cares and their desires. So don't forget tonight on all social media plat- uh, platforms. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to the most talked about radio show in the whole wide world, Sports Talk on FYI with your host, Miss Yolanda Lady Hinton. I'm Ed Everett, the co-host. If you'd like to be a special guest, a sponsor, or be on FYI, all you have to do is pick up the telephone and give us a call at 757-714-7861 or inbox us at Ed Everett's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda Lady Hinton's Facebook page, or FYI Facebook page, or email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Don't forget to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 30 to 10 right here on WGPL 1350 Studio. <laughs>
acting out of character. You know, I, I wonder if it's gang related. Oh, you know, okay. is he a part of a gang? For him to, or do he know the value of all that money that he's making? You well, know let's do allegedly, because we really, you know, that the story is out there. You often actually Google it and uh, see the footage. But we, we've got to get down to the bottom of why, you know, he feels the need to kind of like go against the grain. You know, he, he's a professional ball player and, uh, you know, they feel like his conduct is just a little bit whack. And so uh, let's see how it plays out. I mean, who wants to lose? What, Mr. E, $194, almost $200 million five years. Come on now. Who wouldn't want to take advantage? But this is the thing. We find people that, that are, uh, get they get opportunity and they blow it in a minute. Why? Because they used to blowing stuff. They, they It don't really matter all that much. Uh, or either they think they're privileged. You got some folk that just say, well, look, I'm privileged. I can get in trouble. I can get out of trouble. Y'all ain't going to do what you're going to do about it. And so you got to uh, figure out what kind of mentality he has. You've got to make sure the people that are around him are uh, are influencing him for the good and get him out of that element. You know, uh, we this is not the first time we've seen things like this, though, Mr. Ian e Sport. You get some guys that have uh, signed great big contracts, and the next thing you know, they're in the club shooting their foot, or they're in the club <laughs> fighting, or they're in the, I'm going to in jail. the club. Yeah. Or, Come on now. You 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 take Dexter Manley. He played with the Washington Redskins for a long time. One of the greatest linebackers or one of the hard hitting with no education whatsoever. Lost yeah. all his money. And guess where they found him hanging at? The high school drugged up. Ooh, see what I'm saying? Opportunity does not come every day. You got to take advantage of it. Look at Blitzo, who won all those uh, for the New England Patriots Super Bowl. Young man went to jail. Then you had one of them that was super that uh, killed himself. Oh my you know, God. so you know, they, they, I, I don't understand what's going on. Is, is it because they cannot deal with fame and fortune? When I look at be, when yeah. I look at Jay. Jay is not is not hurt for anything. Yes. He's driving an Austin Martin car, and he's also driving a Porsche. Ooh, well maybe that's it. You know, material things are beautiful, but hey, sometimes it ain't nothing but material things. It don't mean nothing. You know, it's what happening between those two ears. And he, if he's thinking reckless, you know, he's gonna be reckless. But uh, you know, let's see what happens. You know, like I said, sometimes people blow it because it, it just say, you know, hey, well, it's a house. I got a new house. You know, I can walk around around the, the, the mansion and, you know, hey, but but, but hey, I want to go out here and have fun with my friends. Or I want to go out here and be just like I used to be with everybody else. You can't be you like can't that, that anymore. That's you are right. different now. You're in a whole new status. You can you, you you're the haves. That's you're right. not the have not. And you are not supposed to be involved with any criminal or foolery. Uh, to blow your career. I can see if you're going back to the community to help the community uh, to rise yes. above. I can see if you're going back and you're going to put back into the community, take some of the cats off the street, uh, get them some high school educations, those yes. who dropped out. I can see if you're going to help some child as they you know, travel yes. along the way. You can put some more emphasis in the school, the junior high schools and the recreational centers. I can see if you're going back to do something like yes. that. But for you to go back to your neighborhood, get in the clubs and start acting out of character. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the big baller from, you know, yep. and, and the shot caller and I'm sitting right here waving my money and <laughs> waving my guns. And you know, you know, gun waving is not prohibited in any state. But you know what? Uh, sometimes people feel like, you know, I'm going to prove that I haven't changed because in, in a minute people will say, well, you changed. You think you all that you can't call the homies no more. You can't come see us. You you brand new and all that. And sometimes people feel the need to uh, prove that I haven't changed. See, I'm still like y'all. See, I can wave the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I can act like. No, no, you can't, son. And you, then, no, the, you can't. You and, are not that and anymore. What gets, and what gets him in so much trouble trying to go back and be like the in crowd. Ooh, and because he go back in the in crowd, impression. here's another child. All Durant uh, Morant had to do was to learn from his first suspension. Yes. He did. Now what? 
Ooh. Now what? Now, now what? what? Just three weeks ago, John Ramat was battling the Lakers in the first round playoff and uh, arena and asked, and then he turned around and, and went back to Memphis. Watch this, listen. And, and asked you again to help the rest of the us to understand the mentality of the Memphis star who on March the 6th, uh-huh. March the 6th, gun scandal had stained his reputation and threatening his career. An expert witness goes to the arena as good as they get to sort the unsavory type. My, my 29 years old, 28 year old man making all that money. 28, is he 28 yet or 20, just 24? 24, 24, 24 year old years man. old, cutting up. Cutting up like that. Well, I tell you, son, uh, take my advice, don't do it. It's going. It's a lot of folks standing in line waiting to take the opportunity, and they're going to do it and do it right. So please, uh, 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 our older men that are, have been in the game, get around that young man, talk to him, get him back on track, and uh, let him know that in this a script club, y'all get out them script clubs and get. <laughs> so listen, let's talk. To, I really want uh, our uh, audience, our viewers, to. Uh, join us this evening for FYI After Dark. We have a panel of five uh, men, young men that are going to come on and talk about single or talk about what it is being a man in this generation, 2023. Um, you know, some of their desires, some of their dislikes, uh, some of their uh, their reasons for living or being or, or what they need to do to have a healthy lifestyle. We're going to talk about relationships. We'll talk about, you know, the community and how they fit in. Uh, and so please, please, please join us at 6 p.m. this evening on FYI After Dark. If you all want to chime in in the chat, ask questions, uh, especially young ladies or you know, people that are concerned about our men, um, you know, you can chime in and find out, you know, how men think, what they do, you know, how they live and what they want, you know, and, and get to know, get to know our men. You know, we can't put everybody in one uh, bunch and you say all oh, men, you know, sometimes you hear that conversation, all oh, men are all oh, oh, men are no good. I don't like that. And that is not true. Now, there's plenty of them that are uh, dogs and don't know how to act. But I tell you what, there are plenty that know how to act and they want more. There's so many people, so many men that want a good life and want things for themselves. And so we're going to find out exactly what they want. Oh, well, maybe some of them do want that reckless life, but we're going to find out exactly from them what they want. So you need to join us tonight at six o'clock on FYI After Dark. That's what you need to do. Set your alarm, set your calendar, set your timer, set whatever you need to set and to make sure that you join us tonight after yes. dark, 6 p.m. Uh, right here, right here on all social media platforms, yes. you know, where we're going we gonna to be talking to single, single and singing that song. I'm living that single, oh, single, single life. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to find out what they think, feel and uh some of them choose to be single. Some and of why? them choose. Have and they we'll been, find out. Have they been spooked? You know, <laughs> have they been spooked? Or, 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 and then you might find out what's their, uh, 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 what kind of ladies they might be looking for. Yeah. And someone might be looking for um, already taken women. You know, what does that know, mean? That, that, that means that they're already looking for married women and not trying and stay in the single women life. Well, that's interesting, but my goodness, uh, look, all these women out here, you can get your own. You can get seven, it's seven Come on women now. to one man, seven women to one man. And, but you know, that's some people's preference of uh, how they want to do what they do. Yeah, well, they had a, a show of uh, polygamy. Now, if you want to go out and live that type of life, one man and all those women and carry on, go on and carry on and, and, and let that go on. But uh, I, I don't know. We'll find out from the men they, how they do. You know, they may have three, four, five uh, <laughs> ladies on the side. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But uh, all I know is that we're going to find out from them their cup of tea. Uh, so don't forget, 6 p.m. this evening, FYI After Dark, a panel of uh, young men that uh, will be talking to us about 
uh, the single life or their life in general, their journey in general, what they're doing, how they're doing it. And uh, we want to sit there and enjoy it. You can tune in to YouTube, Facebook Live, uh, Instagram or Twitter, and uh, we can uh, have a great, great dialogue. Look, and then following that, on June the 12th, we're going to have the ladies. We're going to have a panel of ladies talking about their lives, that's the single right. life, single women, and single, what they do, what they go through. Oh, life. that's going to that's gonna be interesting. I'm going to see, uh, kind of compare and see who talks the most. See if women are more uh, secretive or more uh, uh, apt to tell you what they're going through, how they're going through it. Uh, we're going to kind of compare the two after we uh, do both of the shows. I believe the ladies are more private than the men. You think so? Oh, yeah. I believe men find something. I think men are private to a certain extent. And, and I think that they what, what, what they'll do, I'm just thinking, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out tonight. Uh, so you have to make it your business that they will hold stuff if they've been hurt. They will not in, uh, unclose or. Uh, uh, did, uh, disclose any information because somebody could have got them. I think if you ask the right questions and you give them a platform to really express themselves without, uh, you know, any kind of uh, rebuke or, you know, condemnation, I think men would open up and say a whole <laughs> bunch of stuff. <laughs> women, I really believe that they do open up, but I, I'm fine. I find out about women that. Uh, I'm finding that women in a closed, uh, you know, arena, when we're talking amongst one another, they disclose a whole <laughs> lot. I'm telling you right now. Do they you think, tell it all. Do you think you had to warm up to uh, women or think you had to warm up to men before they um, uh, um, begin to chat, begin you, to talk? Yeah, I think men uh, do want a voice, but it has to be the right environment. And uh, I think they are they are kind of careful of what they say uh because they don't want it to bite them later on you know oh you was up there talking all that is this that and other you know a woman that she'll do that in a minute you know that people will do that yeah and so you know some things can shut a man down and That's so right. That's hopefully right. you know we will you know be able to uh hear more from how they think and what they do so don't forget to join us 6 p.m uh and uh will be on all social media platforms live. And, and don't forget to go to Crystal Records 1. Yes. Crystal Records 1 and subscribe. C-R-I-S-T-O, Crystal Records 1, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget uh, our Young Women Achieving Success, they are recruiting. Uh, don't forget to follow us on social media, the ladies' books. Uh, go up there online. The game is coming real soon. Yeah. So excited about that. We're playing. I'm playing it as, uh, you know, just all the time. Oh, and uh, it's just uh, it's just marvelous. I'm so excited about it. Uh, the pies, we're getting ready to launch the Royal Ladies Pies again for the season. And don't forget, if you want to be a special guest intern or sponsor, Mr. E got the T on that. All you got to do is give us a call at 757-714-7861 or inbox us at, at whatever's Facebook page, Miss Yolanda the Lady Hens' Facebook page, or FYI Facebook page, or email us at FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Again, that's FYI Radio Show Live at gmail.com. Don't forget to go to Crystal Records 1 on YouTube. Subscribe. Do yes. that today. Do that right now. Go to Crystal Records 1 and hit the like and share, and you see all of FYI radio show um, shows right there. Yes. Yeah, you'll see them right there. Just like and subscribe. If you want to go back a few shows, you'll see them there. Yes. If you want to go and stick with us, Karen, you see that for seven years, FYI has brought you nothing but the very best. So hit Crystal Records 1, subscribe and like, okay? All right, C-R-I-S-T-O, Records for the NAS and the number one. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you back here. No, we'll see you this evening. God bless you. Bye. Two up, two down, the act.